Hi, I'm Marie Park. I'm the head chef of Flight Me Catering, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick appetizer. Today we're going to be doing something called Caprese Poppers. It's also a sandwich that we uh, sometimes do catering with. So first you're going to take a pan tuku, which is basically the baby of the sand tuku knife, which is mostly used for cutting vegetables and cheeses and stuff like that. So you're going to cut the top off a nice cherry tomato. Cherry tomatoes are better for this because they, uh, they're a little more plump and they're easier to gut. Now if you take a small teaspoon, you're going to cut where the main core is, scoop around, hold it in the palm of your hand like this, and then you're going to take your spoon and remove all the seeds and the core, scoop out any excess, there may be a little in your hands, that's fine, just scoop that off your hands, move it to the side, so now you've got this perfect little uh, holder for the tomato. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take baby bocconcinis. Now this is really cool because it's starting to get a little more, not complex, but uh, more gourmet. So you take one baby bocconcini, you cut it in half, like so, take it, and you insert it in the tomato, like that. So there's a little space for us to put our basil in. Now you can just keep this for another one later. So you've got this, you take your basil that you have bought from any local store. Another fun way to do this is there's purple basil that's you can also find at like normally Longos or Fertinos. Your local store might carry it too. So you take some of this and you want to try and find smaller ones just like this, smaller leaves like that. And then you're gonna spin it in here with the water in the bottom. You take your little leaf, you place it in that little gap that your bocconcini is leaving for you. So we've got that there, it's almost complete. Now all we need to do is grab our balsamic to really finish it off. I'm not gonna use salt and pepper and olive oil too. If you want to, that's fine, but it's better this way. So just a little drop of balsamic and you're done. It's that simple, it's very quick. And when you're done, put it on some nice white cutlery. It looks great like that. And people really enjoy it. Anyway, thanks again to our sponsors. We thank you Fossil Canada, we thank you Bite Me Catering, and we also thank uh, President's Choice for helping us out and the uh, makings of Chicago Cutlery. Anyway, uh, tune in every Sunday for a new video. Next week's is gonna be a traditional sandwich. We're we'll doing ciabatta uh, with brie, turkey, and a cranberry sauce, all warmed up, and it's gonna be delicious. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing.